Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshek. Sitting next to me is Mike Brenner. This is the NBA Odds Couple Show. Mike Brenner, great show yesterday. You uh, you got I'm liking some... that shirt there, lumberjack oh, yeah, Loshek. Yeah, yeah. Well, it goes, you look yeah. like a lumberjack. Got yeah, the well, beard. You to be, yeah, you have to yeah. stay with the times. You know, it's yeah. 2016. Getting ready it's to unveil the picture of your yeah, date. Yeah, it's a hip look. It's a hip. Oh yeah. No, I have it. It's it's here. It's really? in my home. Absolutely. Really? And they're gonna find a way to put it on and oh, show this girl because well. everybody. What about the date? What about the date? All right. So I kind of I kind of rode off chicks about eight years ago. You I should jump well, back into that? I think you need to, because after your pick last night, you better you better think about doing something different, Pete. Yeah, we knew so, that was a loser going in. We, uh, we, uh, we, we I, don't, don't throw me in that damn boat yeah. with you. No, you suspected it, too. Uh, we all suspected it. Your loser? Your game that lost? Yeah, we I were like, suspect we, 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 that. We, we, we were like, we could feel uh, no, this one. You're not twisting no? that one. He's trying to hit yeah, right. a little no, spin. No, no, no. No, it's a, it's a good thing, because if you could, if you know that a game's going to be a loser, you just bet the other side. Well, anyway, with that better. being said, let's pan this board, because I had a 2-0 and night last night, killed it on a first half with the Nets, and a teaser. Yeah, that was a good one, Okay, man. yes, it I was comfortable. Yeah. 75. Don't be tailing my ass every yeah. day. 75 and 57. I'm 56% right now. That's actually 56.9, so I'm up a bunch of units, and we're going to push it up again today because I got a bunch of picks. Pete went 0-1 with a pick that he says he knew sucks, so why didn't he turn <laughs> it the other way? I don't know, but I'm going to jump out of this deal, bro. You're on your own. 32 and 41, 43%. I'll send the life wrap, but that <laughs> is it. All right, uh, well... I made a, a couple of bets on the overnights, uh, and we'll see what you think about it. Uh, the first one, well, I guess the first one I'll, I'll ask you about is the Hawks at Detroit, right? Yeah. I bet that one at, at plus one. I took Atlanta, right? Mm -hmm. Now it's uh, now it's moved up. Well, it's, it's plus it's one or minus one. Plus yeah, it's, one. All, it's about pick a market wide. Hawks have been playing well. They've been good. Bro, they're playing years. great defense. Is yeah, what they're, they're doing. playing great. Detroit looked slightly lost recently. Can they turn it around here? Uh, you know, they're off a bad loss. Not sure about this one. My sense was that taking Atlanta was a don't overthink it kind of deal. Yeah. What do you think about that one? Well, it's one of my plays. Oh, okay. I took well, that's the a good Hawks sign. on the game plus one. Yeah. You think this is one of your 56% winners or 44% yes, losers? No, I think it's a winner. Maybe I think, just, I just think a bad sign for you and not a good sign uh, for well, me. Well, I don't know about all that, but <laughs> I, I just think coaching is going to win it tonight. Okay. Moody knows where his team's at right now, and uh, they're going on the road. They're going to get the W, baby. All right. Well, plus Are, are yeah. you going to use it as a pick? Yeah, sure. Why officially. Not? Why not? Yes, absolutely. Officially. We'll Man, both be on Atlanta. Plus one. It's it's minus one. Pick them in plus one market-wide. Yep. Market bouncing all around on that one. And uh, yep. we will both be on Atlanta plus one. Now, uh, what else do we want? Oh, here's another one. I bet. Let me, maybe this involves one of your bets. Um, uh, the line, the total in the Knicks Golden State game mm -hmm, was mm -hmm. suspiciously low, right? Yeah. It was 220, 221. I hit that one on the overnight. Now it's definitely gotten bet up. It's 221 and a half or 222. The Knicks have covered five out of their last six. Porzingis was out, but he's going to be in for this one, reportedly. Yeah, that's reportedly. What that's what I heard. Uh, you know, Golden State, whether they're covering or not, you know, they had a struggle against uh, against Phoenix, which which I sort of suspect that was, was coming. That was a couple but, games ago. Right, but they're still, whether they're winning or losing ATS, they're scoring a lot. They're scoring like 120 game in, game out. So that's I took a shot change. with the over. It was suspiciously low. What do you think about the over in that and why was it only 220, 221? Well, the it might be just because of the, you know, the, the lack of offense for, for the New York Knicks as right. of late. You know, there's nothing going to happen there as far as a firestorm with points. So sure. I don't know, but you are totals low, Shaq. Yeah, well, I bet it on the overnight. I guess I'll hold off for now. Is, is Golden State, uh, as far as pick for, for this show, is Golden State one, involved in one of your picks? It's involved in three of my picks. Oh, Pete. my God. Pete, I All got right. seven picks tonight, baby. I'm going <laughs> yeah, to. Hey, and I'm not kidding you. I no, see the really value. Really I think true. this is one of the most valuable slates I've seen in a minute. Really? Hey, it Holy might go crap. south on me. I can yeah. lose every damn one. But All guess right. what? Well, Feeling pretty good. So I'm, I'm assuming one of your picks is the first half. Hit us with that one. I got it at minus nine. Is yep. it still available? Nine or yes. nine and a half market wide. Nine is still available at Heritage yep. and Bookmaker. Yep. There's something about Carmelo Anthony. I think he just pumps up the other team. And I sure. think Curry's going to go off. And I think Clay Thompson's going to go off. So I grabbed him on the half minus nine. And I grabbed him on a game minus 15. And why don't you take... Well, Heritage has 14 and a half, which is not a good sign because they're a sharp book, but okay. you can take 14 and a half. I'm going to take the 14 and a half, and I'm not really concerned about Heritage. My only issue is just that the Knicks have covered five out of their last six. Mm -hmm. Porzingis, yeah, they're, they're due for a non-cover. Porzingis is awesome. Yeah, they yeah. absolutely might be. Yeah. And there, there's no way I'm ever going to argue too hard. You know, you know what hard. I think also, though? I think Golden State's really tasting it now. Yeah. That this record is definitely within reach. Mm -hmm. I think they come out firing at home tonight on all cylinders. New York on the road. This team threw the talent months ago, baby. Okay. Go they, Warriors. Okay, okay. I can certainly see it. Now, another game that's interesting, I suspect. This might be one of your plays as well. The Clippers in Houston, right? Now, do you have a pick on this one? Nope. No, okay. Well, the Clippers are on a back to back. Bad they, one. They lost big to the Spurs. We'll see what your lead was. Two straight bad losses to yeah. uh, to top teams for the Clippers. And yep. the question is, do they bounce back here or, or, or not? And of course, Houston, we've been talking about this since Michael Beasley came. Yes. They've turned a little bit. I'm not ready to, to anoint them uh, in the yeah. you know the Spurs Golden State they category. Turned a but yeah. they're but they turned a cor
teams and they thought we didn't need him. Guess what? It's caught up. They need the big man, mm -hmm. right? Because yep. underneath the boards, he provides a different offense. And what he also does is opens up the floor for Chris Paul and Redick, okay? Yeah. Now, they're missing him. They're missing his presence no matter what. And I guarantee you they're the first ones that will say that is true. So this team's losing some mojo. You got Houston picking up mojo, but I'm going to stay off because Why? He That's interesting. Why? Why are you staying off? Well, because I just, I just really think that uh, maybe Chris Paul steps it up and has something. Something. JJ Reddick's been Gordon. on fire yeah. as of late. That is one really consistent player for them. And DeAndre Jordan, this right. kid's playing yeah, out, of, sure. out of control. Absolutely. And I Absolutely. really think he's going to have a big night tonight. And uh, Dwight Howard just has that, that tendency to not mm -hmm. have a big night and not show up. So it could be tonight. But DeAndre Jordan, uh, Chris Paul, and JJ Reddick, I think, are going to play a little bit better. But I'm staying off it. It's just I'm not feeling it, baby. I'm not feeling that. Okay. One. Well, now we're going to discuss the game. This has got to be one that, that you have a pick on. Uh, OKC on the first half. You like it. Boston on a back-to-back. -back. They lost at Indy and OKC off a strong win yeah. after two straight losses. So when you're a team like OKC and you lose two straight games straight up, I don't think, uh, you know, one nice win is going to get that out of no, your head. No. And uh, my my strong, strong sense here is that uh, is that you like OKC, at least yeah. on the first and, half. And that's what separates Donovan from his players. Right? Donovan's like, hey, we'll take this uh, moral win. Bullshit. Right. These guys need to string it together and they know it. This is different from the team years past. They're healthy tonight. I'm not only taking them on a half minus and two, the baby. Game. I'm barreling on the game minus four because Boston is going to get it handed to him. That Jock Crowder, uh, Jay Crowder, mm -hmm. however you say his name. Yeah. Okay, No, that, that makes a difference. He is a defensive yeah, beast. Absolutely. Plus, he's 14 uh, points a game. They're going to be missing that. And Olenek is, again, questionable. Yeah. Not that he's a great big factor, but I think OKC comes out early and buries his team early and, yep. and covers the half and the game, and I love it, Pete. All right. Well, Damn it's, it, I yep. love it. It's two or two and a half uh, market-wide. That was a play that I was leaning towards. Towards, uh, as well, and I'm going to be on it as well. OKC okay, first half minus two, and that's well, not a tail. That's a pick that no, I, hey, I knew you. I, bro, I, I knew I you were going to. You can jump on my tail because guess what? Yeah. Jump on my back. I can <laughs> sure, carry sure. You. I All can right. Carry oh, a little that's track. awesome. Such a great, such a great uh, words of bunch of words of encouragement. OKC okay, yeah. four and a half on the full game. Yes, I'll take that's it. That's okay for you. Yes, it is four and a half. Wrap it up. Baby. All right, now here's a pick. Here's a pick. Well, wrap up the show. No, oh, hell no. I'm just saying wrap up that gift because it's going to be wrap it up. It's going to be delivered. Okay. Yeah. Now this is a pick that tell me, I, you know, I, I, I don't know. Don't, you don't stutter now. Weren't you, weren't you on? You were on Houston over Memphis recently, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So Minnesota's playing Memphis now. It looks like it looks like Memphis is like you know the super depleted. They had one or two games where they picked it up, and now it's like the shit's hitting the fan. Yeah, but Minnesota. Pete, 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 you better remember what Minnesota just did to you just two nights ago. Okay. What did they do? They, they lost. They took oh, a hell of a yeah, hit that's for right. you. But I but I won the first half though. <laughs> I won okay. the first half on yep. that one. Yeah, but you didn't put it up as a pick. That's you right. You won it on your bet on yeah. your account, but that's not. Right. important in this I show. This okay, is important. Okay, yeah, right. I'm okay. going to tell you as so a friend, listen. I'm not letting you bet that one. <laughs> well, how about this? Just listen, listen. Okay. I did win the first half on that one. I lost the full game. Uh, they're a little bit pissed that they gave away that game to, to yeah, Phoenix. And they did give it away. Uh, right, and Memphis is just vulnerable as hell now. What about Minnesota on the first half at minus, uh, minus a half or one and a half? What do you think I, about I, that? I, I don't know. I wouldn't, no, touch, it. wouldn't touch it. And it. when Minnesota got rid of Kevin Martin, who was now mm -hmm. really adapting well right. in San Antonio, that was just like the straw that broke the camel's back for sure. me as far as backing them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sit back off of that one, buddy, and I would okay. definitely hope you would too. All right, I'll hold off. No problem, absolutely. And then Dallas-Cleveland. This is a Woo! game. Probably you have a pick on this Woo! one. You have a good read in general on Cleveland, although you're not 100% with Cleveland, but you have a great uh, overall yeah. record, I believe, with them uh, in your picks. Dallas coming off a I'm nice I'm just going to cut you off right there. First half minus five and a half. Yeah, LeBron obviously. James, I'm telling you, that last game when they got their asses kicked for no reason whatsoever, they're going to come out tonight at home. And the Cavaliers, they start, I mean, uh, Dallas, they start slow. They're just a mm -hmm. slow team. There's no run and gun with them. First half minus five and a half. That's bank, baby. Well, I, I, one of my massive losers was uh, – was betting against uh, <laughs> Dallas on the first half with Charlotte, and they Charlotte. blasted Charlotte. Okay, right. that was Charlotte. Well, Charlotte. they got Kemba Walker. This, yes, but this is the same team that three years ago had, what, nine wins? And my my hat is off to him. Michael Jordan, they're doing the right. job. That team's going to be dangerous sure. another year. They're a player or two away. But I'm just telling you, Charlotte ain't no Cleveland when Cleveland's pissed off. Cavs, okay? The Cavs are coming off a bad loss where they were yes. a little bit fatigued, and the question is, is it. that fatigue going to linger, or is it something that they can fix? Matter of fact, bro, when, I'm going to pop a cold beer on that one. First <laughs> All right. half, Cavaliers. Minus five and a half. Yeah. Okay, so how many of your picks uh, do we have? We do we have left to give? I've got one more, and it's a teaser. All right, hit that. Hit okay. us with that. One. My teaser is the Thunder. It'll be minus a half of a point because mm -hmm. it's four and a half on the game. This is a four-point adjustment on a mm -hmm. two-team teaser. And Golden State Warriors, mm -hmm. baby, minus, minus ten, ten and, and a half. half. 
and I will love it because at I, heritage, at yes. heritage, I love it because I think New York can't even hang with these guys, mm -hmm. and uh, Golden State's mm. just in a zone of their own. That sounds like pretty that. good. A zone yeah. of their own. Yeah, Damn, I like that. <laughs> something about that. Right, got fire. All right, so so review all your picks while I decide what final Apparently picks I will make. He does this shit every time. Yeah. you might want to change that as well. Yeah, all right, anyway, did. Thunder on the first half minus two. Thunder on the game minus four and a half. Cavaliers first half minus five and a half. The Hawks on the game plus one. Golden State Warriors, first half minus nine, and game minus 14 and a half. That's right. And, and I'm, a two-team teaser right. with the Thunder and the Golden State Warriors, seven picks. Pete, I'm and I've also it. announced that I'm on Atlanta with you at plus one and OKC on the first half minus two. And let me review I, my – oh, I also, bet, I also – I'll, I'll share the other bets I made. I bet Dallas under uh, – Dallas Cleveland under. Uh, I bet it at 208. Now it's up to 209 and a half or 210. Okay. What's up okay. with that line move, and what's your sense on, on, on Cleveland's likely game plan? Here. I think Cleveland's got a lockdown on D. Yeah. I really think they will, and I think they're going to shut down Chandler Parsons. That's what I was and you know who's going to do it? Tristan Thompson is going to be all over Chandler Parsons. And the other thing is that is that uh, Dallas, their, their win that, that they got their last game was because of a clamp down defense that they did. Absolutely. He might be onto something there, Pete, and you're, I, you're totally right. Yeah, well, I bet, it, over, I bet it. If you look up overdue <laughs> in the dictionary right now, you're going to see a picture of Lumberjack Loshack. I'm not right. kidding you. You're okay. overdue. All right. I'll, I'll give the under 210 right now. I'm not uh, totally jazzed about the line move on that one, but I'll give under 210 okay. uh, on Dallas and Cleveland. That was one that I bet. I bet at 208. Now it's now it's 210. Mm -hmm. And uh, was that a nibble or a bite? That was just a standard, yeah, standard issue play. <laughs> standard <laughs> issue play. And I also right the other one. The other one that I bet was uh, was uh, was the over in New York Golden State at the two 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 twenty yeah. or two twenty one. Like you said, that seemed awful low, right? Yeah, something suspicious. I'll just stick with those three that I've announced: Atlanta and uh, and OKC on the first half with Mike, and I'll also be on under two ten Dallas Cleveland. All right, hey, right. Mike, no, we're, we're not wrapping it up real nope. quick yet. You know, we'll to I just got to touch on something because I took a lot of oh. grief. <laughs> Yesterday took a lot of shit because of Toronto. And and sure enough, I did blog go watch them win tonight, which they didn't. I was hoping they'd get their asses kicked. Nothing personal, Toronto fans. Yes, you deserve a franchise. All right, I'm frustrated too. I gamble. When I lose, I don't take it too well because I want right. to win every game. But, right. you know, and one of my favorite coaches in the day, just so you know, and I'll just put it out there, KC Jones, all mm. he did was win with the Celtics. You got good coaches and great coaches. And Dwayne Casey is a good coach. Mm. He's not a great coach. Great coaches win championships. Great coaches don't get swept 4-0 in the first round of a playoff after hitting the playoffs two Ooh, years in a, a row. Oh, that's a good point. So Ooh, I'm just putting point. it out there. Avery Johnson, good coach, <laughs> not a great coach, all right? Anyway, Toronto fans, nothing but love. All right. That's our show for what? today. No, we'll it's be back. not. Oh, we got to pan it one more time. Baby, I'm about that accountability, <laughs> Pete. You know this. 75 and 57. Brenner's got seven picks out there tonight and feeling good about them. 56%. That number's going to move up. It's going to continue to move up. Pete's 32 and 41, putting out three plays that sound really solid. Pete. Yeah, two are with really, you. You look a little tired, though, today. I just got to tell you. <laughs> anyway, Pete's 43%. He's getting beat up, so we got to help this guy up. Let's help him up off his feet. He's going to move that number up, and I love the board tonight. Actually, let me ask you one question. Why not, why, not, why not add on Atlanta on the first half with that one? Because, uh, no, nah, I'm not going right. to do it. Show's done. We'll be back tomorrow for the, eight, for the card on uh, March 18th. That's right. Great show, Pete.